Oh, is this supposed to hang on the outside? I have it on the inside. Yeah, put the microphone on the outside. Oh, I'm so sorry. That's all right. Nick has fan. Can I see your box? Yep. Nick has fan. Do you have a box? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yes, nice sir. To meet you. Nice to meet you. Can I have you and Doug face each other? And then Nick will just have you step forward just a little bit. Yeah. Do you want hands in the pocket or? However, or whatever okay. you want. Cool. Can we get, uh, and do I look at the camera or you? Ah, oh, you just look at me. Or you okay. I mean, it's okay if it's dark. I mean, it just, it's organic. It's not that like we're not in a studio. We just walked out of Best Buy. Yeah, <laughs> literally. <laughs> that, it, that's, that's what needs to be seen. Okay. Yeah. It's a good thing. <laughs> Josh, can you uh, just stay there and then monitor the position and then pan if needed? Five, four, three, two, one. 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 Got ears on me? He's not too harsh. Five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, five, five four. four, three, two, one. Five, five, good. four. Good, good. Like good. Audio levels there. Yep. Good. Good. Carson make the decision whether or not you want to It looks great. Where's Cam A? Right here. Right there? No, no, that's Cam A. Alright. Cam A. Well, it's a. Riding speed of the car is not correct. Alright, we're gonna fix it. Well, good. Give me a clap, Doug.
go. Go. Good. Okay. All right. Ready? So we just come out of Best Buy right here in Reno, Nevada. And Nick, a longtime supporter and fan of ours. Thanks, Nick, for coming up to us. I yes, appreciate sir. it. Nick has some information that let's, could... Let's, let's start from the top. Okay. Just loud truck. Okay. Loud truck, loud truck. Okay. No more loud truck. Two, one, sink. So we just got out of Best Buy after picking up some supplies here in Reno, Nevada. We're on our way to work the Kylie Rodney case just down the street in Truckee, California. And Nick, a longtime supporter, fan of ours, um, appreciate you for coming up to us, possibly has some information in regards to the Kylie Rodney case. So why don't you explain a little bit about what, what you may have run into. So my name is Nick. I, I work at the Emergency Roadside uh, Assistance Program. Um, I got a call up in Truckee, uh, Boca, for a battery call. So. Pretty much that means that the vehicle can't start. So I went in route up there, found the vehicle. Um, at the time, I didn't realize that this was a situation until later on, but. Yeah, so let, me, let me stop you right there. Yeah. You said you, you went to Boca. Yes, sir. Uh, so over near Boca Lake? Yes, sir. So not Prosser uh, Lake, Prosser Creek Lake? Uh, it, it's right by Cro Prosser Creek. Yeah, so yeah. just north, so you, were, you, went, you went to Boca. Yes, sir. Um, and you said you responded to a vehicle and you, you, in hindsight, realized it may have been this vehicle. What kind of vehicle was it that you responded to? It was a gray, like a lightish gray Honda four-door sedan. Okay, yeah. all right. Or SUV, SUV I'm sorry. SUV? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. And go ahead and describe what happened. With so you, right? when I first go there, I usually do tests on the vehicle to see what's going on. Mm -hmm. um, at first, when I went there, I realized after my test that you know everything was working great on the vehicle. Come to find out later, once I approached the vehicle and went inside, that the vehicle was in neutral. At the time, I thought that was kind of awkward that you know you can find out or realize that something like that could have been the case for why the vehicle wasn't starting. So I simply put it into park, um, started up the vehicle, everything was fine. At that point in time, I did notice that like she, the female, which is Kylie, I realized after, um, she was very hesitant and very skeptical on everything that was going on. She was asking me really weird questions, like in the sense of how do you put on your seatbelt correctly? And like, okay, and she asked me to show her on how to connect it to like her actual belt. Like, okay, that, in my eyes, that was very awkward. I, deal with things that are kind of awkward so I was like all right it's just another day on the job yeah. um after that she was stating on how she was there all night and she couldn't get her vehicle started due to the fact that now we both realized it was in neutral she was wearing a sweatshirt so it looked like she has been there for quite a while what color was the sweatshirt it was a gray sweatshirt, gray sweatshirt. yeah okay. um also she had a guy with her he was was it, was it dark gray or light gray it was light gray. Okay. Yeah. Uh, also, there there was a guy there that was with her at time being. He was wearing a flat top, ball cap, facing forwards, okay. uh, brown hair that's sticking out just a little bit on the sides. Um, I didn't know. I assumed that this is her boyfriend. I, I mean, from how they're interacting with each other. Um, but it, it was kind of like they were both kind of at unease is, is what it looks like for me like as if either they had a crazy night or a crazy day or there's something going on I, I couldn't know and at the time I didn't realize what was going on so so let, let, me, let me stop you right there again in hindsight you're realizing all of this when yeah. do you think that this took place was it before during the day after she would disappear uh, to be honest with you it's either right after she disappeared or right before she disappeared okay. Um, but it was around noonish, like 11 o'clock in the morning when I got out to her. Okay. And um, yeah, it, at that point in time, once we finished everything, she did advise that she was going to be going home later in the day and that she needed to grab some things and she was going to be heading out. So I advised her that, hey, keep your vehicle running and you know, you can get home. But um, during that period of time, I, that, after the period, I told her that I was going to leave and I hope you have a great day. Vehicle, I told her to keep it running for a couple of hours to obviously make sure everything is working good on the vehicle, charging system wise. At that point in time, then I left and then a week later is when I saw at a coffee shop that she was gone and then that brought some... on a flyer or something? Yeah, wow. I, I came in with my girlfriend, we went into a coffee shop and it was a flyer and I was just in awe. You know, I thought I, my eyes were playing trips on me for a little bit because I'm like, that's the girl that I was working with. Granted, the pictures I saw, she wasn't wearing a ball cap. With me, she was wearing a ball cap, and it was a black, no, blue ball pack, 
blue ball cap. I'm sorry about that. Um, but then everything spiraled out of control and I got in contact with the detective and tried to do everything I could. And yeah, and then I saw you guys. So I was like, all right, this is awesome. Like, let me yeah. go and try yeah, yeah. to th 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 catch th up th to thanks you. Thanks for the intel. That, that's how everything that we do unfolds organically when we get into town from our viewers, mm -hmm. locals who, who understand what we're doing, they contribute to what we're doing from all different angles. Like this is, this is massive. Uh, you know, what, whether, whether this was the day before, the day of, or the day after, this is a, a massive revelation into possibly leading us into the right direction of possibly finding her. Now we know we probably have a tie to Boca, you know, mm -hmm. which, we, which was already on my radar. Mm -hmm. um, do you know who placed the call to your roadside company? Was it her or the boyfriend or? So I, I can't get details. Calls don't go through me, they go through. Yeah, you just get digitally dispatched, so you don't have. Yes, sir. So when you were digitally dispatched, did you call them to say you were coming or you just showed up? Uh, I did call and nothing went through. It nothing went straight went to voicemail. Okay. Yeah. Do you know if she had a phone on her at the time? She did state that her phone was dead. Her phone and was so dead. she used whatever guy, whoever this was, if it was her boyfriend, she used his phone. So that's how she did get in contact. And, and what was, you mentioned like she was asking funny questions and acting weird. So like the funny question, the most funny question, the one that stood out that I remember is about the seatbelt. I've never what came about the seatbelt? about how to buckle a steep belt it's odd. so in in granted I, I at the time i didn't realize again True. that yeah 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 i mean being, yeah. I, i've been in the towing industry my yeah. whole life so you see a lot of crazy stuff a lot of weird stuff and it, it's actually pretty normal yeah you know so i, I can I, I can see why at the time it's just but she kept on home. she kept on going over that like how do, how do you how do you like you know secure your seatbelt fat like firmly and like do it correctly and that's she, when i was when she was asking this was the guy that she was with right there too he was or? on the opposite side of the car so he yeah. could hear the conversation as well yes sir yeah and i i did notice and this is also something that i stated to the detective that every single time the guy would come over to us she would go on to the other side and it was just like a back and forth like a tag team better to say like one person would come over she wouldn't stay near him and then it would go vice versa or if we were at the front of the car going about the battery and talking about the battery, he was always on one side, she was on another. They were never close to each other. It's really odd behavior, it yeah. like to me. Unless she didn't like who she was with, or she was uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, that, that, that screams uh, awkwardness. Someone being uncomfortable. And when in that scenario, if he was there with her, he should have been right next to her. If right. not, if not dealing with you the entire time. And exactly. Not, not, not her. He, he didn't really speak that much How to be you honest did she seem high or intoxicated or i i try not to judge people at that sure. point I, so i try not to like you know possibly i i thought that maybe she was either hung over or just had a really rough day she looked distressed is what i could best describe as as if you're going through a lot so I, and i understand you know some people go through things but now looking back at it now it raises suspicion to right. me and i know the detective on okay what is actually going on what did happen that day yeah. and what was the reason for her being gone so i think that that's pretty relevant that's why i try to chase you guys down yeah. as soon you, as i saw you can you show me on the map yeah where you saw her absolutely i'm gonna bring google up here really quick just it's repeating is your microphone on sure is Yep. Perfect. Thank you. All right. So let's. We're here in Reno. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Let's go down to Truckee. There's so uh, Boca? there's there's Prosser. There's Boca. Yep. Okay. Just drop a pin on the road exactly where you saw her. Oh, hold on. Is that it? Hold on. No, there's a campground. No, that's not a campground. I'm sorry, I haven't looked from it. Oh, no, no worries. worries. Take your time. I know there's a campground on the other side. No, it was on the right hand it was side. On the right side? Yeah. So that's going to be the northeast side of. There it is. It's 
to turn out. Your buddy has it on his phone now. We're at the right place, right? Boca, you come in. You follow this road down. Is that the turnout? No, that's not the turnout. I think that I think that is the turnout right there. I have to verify. I had it pinpointed on his. That doesn't look familiar. Your buddy. Okay. Put it down. All right. You know, this is this is great information that absolutely that, that could lead us. You know, B Boca was on my radar already as as uh, one of our the very next locations. And um, if you're talking about running into her the next day, she doesn't have a phone. She's she's a, she's at another campground. Her phone is dead. She's with somebody. That's stressed uh, possibly. Yeah. yeah. I, something's wrong, especially with the how to use a seatbelt. Yeah. That, that's yeah. that's extremely alarming. It was it was that yeah was that a distress call or was she just uh, you know out of it because she had been drinking all night? She was at a party. Yep. All night long. We know yeah. she, we know due to you know accounts of other people who were at the party who said that you know she was highly intoxicated. So if this was the next day, she's gonna appear to be hungover and so forth. So I don't know. There's a lot of things you can draw from that, but it's. It's great information, and thank you for Absolutely. coming up to us. Thank you for watching thank you everything so much. we do. Thank you so thank much. You. Supporting Absolutely. everything we do. Uh, you know, if it wasn't for you, we wouldn't be in this position. Just simply watching what we do makes uh, makes us able to do everything that we do. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, got, I got some questions. Uh, based on just everything you just said and your experiences there, what is your outcome? What do you think went on? I think it... it something was going on between her and whoever the male was that she was with is from what I saw just due to her character and how she was holding herself and the questions that she was asking um, so I, I I think something happened to her more than than something accidental based on how her car was positioned which way do you think she would have matched her driving uh, out going out the road towards town yeah to the road that leads you up to the highway, yeah. No, no, I'm good. Okay. We're good. Can you, can you, I, we're not videotaping, can you show him? I can zoom in and find the right part. I got the, because I got the precise right part on his. I don't want to show you that. Here, uh, just talk about it again. I'll turn the recording on. You have it pinpointed? Cause that's crucial. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It was farther back. I wasn't even going that far back on your phone. There you go. So if you zoom in right here, mm -hmm. so her car was right there facing diagonal down and I pulled on my van right here okay. when she came in, but she was trying to come out this road where her car was. So it's kind of weird that it was in the middle of the road and on top of that, like it wasn't starting because it was in neutral. So obviously she had to stop for some reason and get out which now i'm looking back at it and i haven't even thought about it this heavily until now yeah. that is kind of weird because she was like as you can see within the road oh geez where'd it go is this it hold on yeah this is it and so right there how she was coming out this way so and out her of front, her front end was facing 84 i mean 894 yeah and, 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 and did you leave before her or did she leave before you? I, I left before her. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't stay at my calls after I've Yeah, and plus you advise her to let it to let it run for a little bit. Yep. Was and, there anybody else around? Uh, there was people far back here, yes, uh, but not near her, no. Okay. Just yeah. her and that gentleman that was with her. Do you her. think she was camping in that campground right there? Um, or do you think she just broke it down? I think she, like, from... I mean, the campgrounds are farther down, like a little bit, like you're closer to the beach. So she possibly could have been there, but like in her car, there was nothing in her car. Like it was just seats. There wasn't like camping gear, you know, a, a tent or a sleeping bag or pillows or anything like that. It was just like your normal seats. Did, did you notice anything in particular in her car at all? Any I mean, stuff, besides perfume bottles and like, yeah, actually there was a perfume bottle that was in the center console and that was all that I recall. 
to be honest. Did she have anything on her keys at all? Like, I, I don't remember what was on. Okay. All right. Any other questions from anybody? Did the uh, investigator that you got a hold of, mm -hmm. have they called you back to, did they grill you with questions too at all? So, the details? so he drilled me with a whole bunch of questions. This was over the phone. Um, and at that point in time, then it got escalated to to my company so then they could handle the rest and at that point in time I haven't heard anything since that. But you said, did you say that you guys have cameras that could possibly get some sort of facial recognition on? Yeah, so we, we do indeed. We have cameras facing front and rear of our vehicles as well as that we do have like audio so we could pick up audio from inside and outside of the truck. So we did have that and I'm guaranteed, I mean, my vehicle is facing directly towards hers. So, and that, that's how I normally do it for my protection. But, um, so you're able to see the full vehicle, including her and the male that was with her. And, and, and your company has seized all of that and they're working with the authorities on yep. all that, all that information. Yes, sir. But it's probably buried in all the tips that they have, honestly. Um, uh, not something like this. They, did they, did they you say that they said it was a... The investigator said it's his most biggest lead yeah. that he has on the case, yeah. So, biggest lead, yeah, in a yeah. case. Yeah. If this is, tr if not if it's true, but if this happened the night after the party, the day after the party, mm -hmm. and then, uh, this gentleman you're talking about would be number one suspect, honestly. Right. So, the, the mail there? Yes. yes. Okay, yeah. So, if you could go into detail, just try to describe it one, one last time. You said ball cap hair coming out. What else you got? Um, he had a bro tank on, it was white, um, he had ball cap, black, base, it wasn't even baseball hat, it's a flat, like, or flat bill hat facing forward, it's kind of off to the sideways. Um, age, about the same age, a little if older. Have you saw a picture of him, could you say yes or no? Uh, his face, yeah, yeah. Can you pull up the picture of the white man? Oh yeah, that's the same hat too. That's it. Uh huh. And you have kind of longer hair mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. So this is a gentleman known in the media as. Now again, you know, for your protection, our protection. This is all alleged. And that we're not. We're not saying anything. We're not. We're not um, insinuating anybody. Obviously, to us, this would be just a person of interest like just as like it would be to any detective or investigator who's investigating this case so we're not we're not implying guilt or anything like that whatsoever we, we also don't know if this was the day before the day of or the day after um, but that that's up that's for up uh, that's for us to put together sure. and figure out where that fits okay um, but it's major information especially you just identifying uh, who we know is a close close person to her whether he was a boyfriend ex-boyfriend that's that's pretty big that's okay pretty big. so any other questions okay, good. when you went into detail about or i guess we covered that by his looks but just for the sake of the camera um skin complexion hair color hair length mm -hmm. just to hear you say all of those so his hair, I mean, from the picture that you showed me, it was sticking out a lot with me. It wasn't sticking out that much. I mean, I saw brown hair sticking out on the corners of each side of his hat. But other than that, he was, uh, I mean, a thinner built guy is the best way I could put it, um, with a bro tank and uh, it was white bro tank. Uh, he had some freckles on his face, like, or maybe it was like uh, acne or whatnot, but it was on both sides of his face. Um, and he had that black San Francisco. Oh, he, he, he was also a little bit like shorter than me. So I'm 6'3". Okay. So he, he, he was shorter than me. I would put him probably like a little under six foot, I would was guess. He, was he white? Was he... He, was, he was white. He was Caucasian, yeah. Thank you. Oh, what, what days do you work? What, what, uh, what's the window you're giving us of when this happened? Uh, either Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, I believe. I, one of the, because the weekends I usually cover Truckee, so, and that Friday I also worked in Truckee, so, yeah. If you were to make a bet on what day it was, what would you say? <sighs> I, I mean, I, when I was looking back under my GPS, under my phone of where I've been, I was there both Saturday and Sunday, farther in to Boca. 
So I did, did you yeah. take any memorable pictures that same day that happened? Because that would be a way to or catalog text. so you can possibly date that that happened. Uh, you I remember like eating lunch at like Wendy's that same day and you took I I actually called uh, my girlfriend right after because of how awkward the situation was. Let's let's pull up the catalog of that book. Yeah, all yeah. Stuff we can find Absolutely. Sorry, just, just to make sure, does, does he look familiar to you at all? Yeah, he didn't have, like, the beard was kind of gone, but his hair was not down that far. It was like, I don't know if you could block that out. It was like to right there, but it was going back as if it was going back so into on, the hat. On, on, on a scale from 1 to 10. That, that's a 9. That's a 9. nine. All right. Yeah. So so at at the time I think it would be safe to say that his hair was like maybe pulled back. Yeah. He doesn't have that much acne. The guy that I saw, I don't know if it's because it's blurry, but he had like right underneath. He had like little little red marks and whatnot. That was one thing that I saw, but again I don't try to judge, I just try to Yeah, yeah. And, 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 and just so you guys can see. That's that's the picture we're talking about right here. This is the public that's this is the picture that is publicly being shown right now by other news media outlets. You have a crazy good memory, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Are you known to just be really good at stuff like this? Uh, I mean, I'm able to remember quite a bit. Yeah, some things that like stick out, and this is one thing. Usually, I, I don't remember normal day instances at work, but this one was kind of it stuck out from the beginning. That's why I did call over to my girlfriend because I was so kind of in. I was, was I was so confused, you yeah, yeah, because I, I was confused because I've never ran into a situation where you know, when you call for a breakdown, and it's so it, 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 it's it's just in neutral, you know. Is, so is there a specific uniform that you wear, or do you just dress casually? I I, I wear a uniform, yeah. Because okay. I'm thinking like maybe like Friday you wore a specific hat and then maybe you took a selfie that same day. That would be a way to pinpoint it. Um. I mean, because if this is the day after, this yeah, could be that, super that, that, that date changes a lot. Okay. I know she has the exact she day that I called. Yeah, she's got her phone. Um, she, so he, it was Saturday and Sunday, she got his phone first. What, what are the times on each of them? I'm going to send a video to Jared. Okay. Hey, Jared, so we just come out of Best Buy, and a really big fan of ours. Nick here wants to say hi. Say hi, Nick. Hey. So, not only is he a fan, big supporter of us, um, he also works. He serviced Kylie's vehicle. Yes, thank Probably the day after she went missing. Uh, she, her cell phone was dead. She was acting really weird. Um, she was also acting, uh, asking questions like, "How did? How do you use a seatbelt?" She was with her boyfriend. We've identified that it was her boyfriend that that he was that she was with. She was up at where was she at? Uh, she was up at Boca. She was at Boca, which is the the next lake over to the northeast from uh, Prosser Creek. Uh, yeah, she her her battery died. He's a battery technician with AAA. Uh, he got there. The car's in neutral. That's why the car won't start. And her and the guy are acting really weird, right? Like, yeah, just really, really weird. And in hindsight, this all adds up for him. Mm -hmm. um, so we're filming this right now, this interview. Hopefully it's relevant to our episode. Um, it's definitely relevant tying us into another area that will possibly could give us her whereabouts the day after she went missing. And her phone was completely dead, right? Yeah, her phone was completely dead. Acting weird. Yeah. Why would you ask, how do you use a seatbelt? Exactly. Man, already. Really weird, man. Really weird. Something's going on. Jared's going to get a kick out of that. So we have everything we need. If, if we can squeeze it. one last information of uh, <laughs> what day that was, it's done. It's cool. yeah. Does she Saturday. have? She has a date for what Saturday and Sunday? I both yeah. called her. Yeah. yeah I, I mean. Well, what day did she? Was she reported missing? August sixth. Which was what? Um, she went. She went missing. The last communication with her was 12:30 a.m. August sixth. Her parents like did not. They did not hesitate that same day. It was dead serious. At what time? That Saturday. That's Saturday? Okay. So it was probably the same day that... So you could be the last person that saw them 
allegedly, other than the people at the party that well, I'm he, talking. He identified as not Friday, so we don't need that form. There you go. Yeah. yeah. So she went missing on Saturday. You didn't work on Friday. It wasn't Friday. No, was I did. Saturday I, or Sunday. I, I, so, I didn't. I so didn't we're work talking down. about we're talking about this is definitely the day she went missing. Now the boyfriend, he's not missing. He's been helping with the search. What's the status with that? Uh, from, from, from everything that I've been told, they, he's been helping with the search because uh, his face is there uh, in all of the interviews and, and so forth. Yeah. As of right now, the way everything points to is that this is the day she went missing and guaranteed or the day after she went missing. So that's huge, huge because development. Because she was with her friend the day before the party. Right. Right. Okay. Right. I know it was That's awesome. Cool. Thank you so much. Absolutely. You, you gave us a really good area to start searching. I, I really hope that helps you guys out a lot. So that would be awesome yeah. if it does. Yeah. yeah. Give me your number. Absolutely. We figured it out. Phone number is Saturday. 775. Mm -hmm. Just send a text, make sure it goes through. Saturday, which is the day she went missing. Yeah, I got it. The morning after the party. The morning after. So, so was she supposed to be back? Friday night, and she never made it back. Correct. Saturday's when she was reported missing. Correct. Really quick on the stuff. Can you go into detail to camera A about this? Um, no. Okay. What was the we question? Can't, we, can do it we, we can't be, um, can't be going out of our way to imply a guilt. Implying is, is, uh, an, an area we can't go into. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, well, then I would just... Is, is okay. Um, it's all alleged. But once we start drilling, it, it's, it's... It's considered implying. We can't imply. Now, now, if they charge him with something, yeah, we can we can record something else. A follow up. We want to make a note of that. That's okay. different. Okay. I think we have everything we need. Yeah. Yeah. Talk to the doctor. You didn't say who you work for. We were careful not to. We, we used allegedly. Yep. Disclaimer. Uh, yeah. I think we did good. Okay. Got some good info. Thanks so much. That's so yeah. awesome. Perfect.